Throughout history, people have been fascinated with tales of the supernatural, strange occurrences, mystic creatures, and especially of ghosts. We're going to explore some of those in this series. My name's Gary Mancini. Welcome to In Search of Ghosts. Hello and welcome back to In Search of Ghosts. Today's visit brings us to St. Mary's Road, which is in Fratton in Portsmouth. We've got the uh, St. Mary's Church here in the background, which is at the, the kind of the Fratton end of the road. And the road stretches all the way through to Milton Road at the other end where you've got St. Mary's Hospital. We'll be looking at a number of places along this route. So let's get on our way and see what stories we've got to tell you. The first of our stories takes place in an undisclosed house in St. Mary's Road in Portsmouth. Now this story is of a poltergeist activity. We don't know which house it is along this street, but in one of these houses there was a reports of a white figure appearing on the staircase. There was buttons being pulled off of clothing, a thumping being heard down the stairs. Excuse the traffic, it's very noisy here. And also an incident of a sound of what sounded like a shaving brush being rattled within a cup. So um, as I say, we don't know which house it is along here in Portsmouth, along St. Mary's Road I should say. But that's the first of our stories, a report of poltergeist activity. Behind me here is St. Mary's Railway Bridge, which uh, is at the topper end of St. Mary's Road. Now the story that I've got for you here is an incident of a man driving along this uh, St. Mary's Road and I don't know if you can see behind me but this area here actually has no path, it comes to an end. So um, he saw a man walking along there and he was driving along and he thought that the man didn't actually look very right. So as he was looking at him in his rear view mirror, he kind of slowed down on the bridge to have a good look and as he had a look in his rear view mirror he actually saw the man evaporate before his very eyes. So that took place right here along this area of St. Mary's uh, Railway Road Bridge. Right, we are now at what remains of the old Portsea Island Union Workhouse. That's that big building behind me. It's the only remaining building which is part of the original structure. Uh, the Portsea Island Union Workhouse was uh, designed by Thomas Ellis Owen and uh, Augustus Livesey in 1846. The maternity board was actually put up in 1908. Um, it became St Mary's Hospital. It was named St Mary's Hospital in 1930 and it joined the NHS in 1948. And our story actually concerns the maternity ward. So the maternity ward, which was opened in 1908. And we're going to go around and tell you a story there. There's a really creepy story that came out of there. It's been related by a number of people. So it's not like a one-off incident. A number of people have actually reported this. And uh, like I said, I think it's the creepiest story that we've got on this tale today. So what we'll do is we'll go around and we'll see if we can, uh, we can shoot anything around there, show you where it used to be. I don't think it's there anymore, but I'll show you where it used to be. And uh, we'll tell you that tale. So we're stood outside now what used to be the maternity ward of St Mary's Hospital here in Portsmouth. 
uh, it's this area back here. It's been since redeveloped. I don't think it's a maternity ward anymore. I think it's changed. I don't know what it is now, but that's where it used to be many, many years ago. Um, the story that I've got to tell you is the story that I found on the internet, and it concerns a grey lady ghost who used to walk the corridors of the maternity ward uh, looking for a lost child. This has been reported on a couple of incidents before, and it's believed that she was actually from part of the old workhouse area before it actually became a hospital. Um, so that was the story that I was going to tell you. It was very brief, you know, nothing else to say. It was just a story about this grey ghost. However, I was contacted by a lady on Facebook, and she's, you know, unrelated. I didn't tell her this story whatsoever. I didn't say I was going to say this story whatsoever, but she contacted contacted me with a story out of the blue and she said I've got a story about St Mary's Hospital and I said okay so um, so what's that and she said um, well my mother actually had a difficult birth while she was in there she was giving birth to me while I was in the hospital and while she was uh, having this difficult birth she saw this grey figure come towards her with a grey veil over her face and her mother actually reached out and tried to grab the grey veil from the face of the of this person and the person properly vanished now um, this is this is you know, interesting enough, the fact that it marries up with the story that I found on the internet. However, another bit of the story is that this woman um, also found out that this has happened to a number of other patients while they stayed in the maternity ward of St. Mary's Hospital. Um, this is the really, really interesting bit. All of them had difficult births. All of them were giving birth to a baby girl. So it looks like this grey lady ghost was looking for her lost baby girl and she was probably seeking the wards, you know, seeking mothers with difficult births to try to get their child for herself. Maybe she was horribly hoping that the child wouldn't make it and she could take it away to the netherworld to herself, maybe have it as her own baby, you know, who knows. But I just thought it was a very, very creepy story that this has happened over here in St. Mary's Hospital. Um, a number of people have reported the same story. They all had difficult births and they were all baby girls. So make of that what you will. Behind me here is Kingston Prison. Now, I couldn't find any stories out about Kingston Prison, especially ghost stories that I could relate to you. However, if you guys know of anything, uh, please do let me know. There's obviously been a lot of violent criminals in here over the years and a lot of incidents that would have taken place, but I couldn't find any actual ghost stories that would have taken place about the place, although they have actually run ghost hunts in here in the past. So yeah, if you've got any stories about Kingston Prison, anything that you know of, any ghostly happenings and things like that, please do let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can come back and cover that in the future episode. So uh, this is Kingston Cemetery, and uh, if people wonder why I'm so fascinated with ghost stories and horror stories and stuff like that, I'll tell you why. And I'm gonna try and find this. That pebble-dashed house there, I don't know if you can see that, that pebble-dashed house there, that was my bedroom. So I looked out over the cemetery. I was two doors away from the cemetery, all the way through my childhood. So uh, yeah, it's no wonder I've got a bit of an influence about ghosts and horror stories and things like that, is it? Um, let's go and tell you a little story that I did find in Kingston Cemetery from when I first came in here when I was a kid. So as you saw, my house was over this direction and my school, where I went to school, that's over in that direction over there. Excuse me, look at where I'm pointing. And um, when we were kids, what they would do is they would bring us out on educationals. Um, I mean, we were very tiny kids, maybe about seven or eight years old. And they would bring us into the cemetery just to show you what the cemetery was like, to see the squirrels, to see the pigeons and all the other animals that were around. And... Uh, there was one incident where we came here with the school and um, we went up to the fountain. They used to fill the fountain with goldfish and all these other fish and all the kids would be gathered around the fountain to have a look. And I was waiting for my turn. And I'll show you that fountain in a moment. And I saw something and I'll tell you about it when we get up there. Okay, so um, I don't remember exactly what year this was, but we came in here on a school expedition. Um, there was probably about two classes worth. so children all lined up around the perimeter of this fountain stroke pond here when we came in here when we were kids and um, I arrived late I was busy looking at something else and I arrived late I came up and there was no space for me I couldn't get in um, I couldn't get into the into see the fish so my mind kind of just looked around I was just kind of looking around the the area I happened to glance into uh, this window over here and as I was glancing in that window over there I saw a hooded figure lean towards the window and look straight back at me. Now, uh, this freaked me out a little bit and I stood back and um, 
And I went and grabbed the school teacher and I said, there's, there's a strange person kind of looking at me from the window. Now, keeping in mind that I didn't know anything about ghosts or anything like that at this stage. To me, ghosts were the kind of things that people in school could do with a great big white sheet over the top of them with a couple of eye holes cut out. Um, so, you know, it was, it was completely unfamiliar to me. Um, all I knew was that there was this hooded figure kind of looking at me from that window over there. And uh, anyway, I told the teacher and of course the teacher came up and he had a look and um, couldn't see um, couldn't see anybody there and said, oh, you must be imagining it or you must have seen a reflection of something and something, you know, basically it was saying that I didn't see what I saw and I know what I saw. Um, so anyway, like I said, had no kind of knowledge of ghosts and anything like that. So they got the, the park keeper who had to be covered by them and he was keeping an eye on, you know, a load of kids being around, didn't want kids being unruly. So he was in the area keeping an eye on things. And they went up to him and said, you know, is there anybody inside that building? And the park keeper said, no, it's been locked for a very long time. There's no one, you know, inside. There's no way anybody could get inside there. So there you go. I saw somebody leaning towards that window, looked like it was staring straight at me. Now I must stress, I didn't see a face. All I saw was the outside of the hood and the hood kind of came forward towards the window. So it was almost like they were kind of looking out towards me, but I couldn't, I couldn't physically see a, a human face looking back. All I saw was the hood, but it looked like it was looking directly in my direction. And of course, when I told the teacher and the teacher looked, there was no one there and the park keeper said, well, no one can get into that building. So uh, make of that what you will. But I think that that was my first encounter with a ghost. And uh, like I say, up until that moment, I only thought ghosts appeared as white sheeted figures from cartoons with the, the two eye holes cut out. So there you go. So there you have it. I hope you found some of those stories interesting. Some of the ghosts of St. Mary's area, St. Mary's Road, and uh, the, obviously St. Mary's Hospital. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it the old thumbs up. And uh, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. We've got a load more ghost stories coming up in the future. I um, hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you all very soon.